everyone. Let's start recall zoology with G Drupti. So today we are going to check the second phylum that is phylum Nidaria. In the previous video we have done with the Porifera. Now we are going to start phylum Nidaria. So let's start here. See, so phylum Nidaria, also known as Silenterata, the easy and the major examples of this particular phyla are Hydra and Jellyfish. Okay. So, first of all, I could say whatever this Nidaria is there, it is the first eumetazoan phylum. It is the first eumetazoan phylum. Let's see the characteristic features of this Nidarians. Okay. So, these are the diploblastic animals with radial symmetry. Recall the formula, doctor of TB. All diploblastic animals are having radial symmetry. They are having tissue level of organization. In between ectoderm and endoderm, they are having a gelatinous material known as mesoglia. Okay. So see here why the name is given as Nidaria. First of all, the name Nidaria is given to them due to presence of some specialized cells known as neuroblast cells. You could call neuroblast cells as stinging cells also. So, whatever these neuroblast cells are there, they are present overall the body as well as on the tentacles of this hydra, jellyfish and many more examples from the Nidarians. So, what are the specialized cells are there due to which the phylum got the name Nidaria, what these neuroblast cells are doing? So, the three functions are done by these neuroblast cells. So, what are they? They help for defense, they help for capturing the food material. And they help for anchorage. Actually, overall the tentacles, whatever these neuroblast cells are there, they are having some capsule inside them known as nematocyst, which is poisonous, which is having venomous material inside it. So definitely it is helping for the defense of this particular nidarians. The next one, actually whatever these nidarians are there, we will get them in two different forms. You could call them as two different body forms. So that especially I have written these two examples here. One that is Hydra and another one that is Jellyfish. Okay, look here. We will check the diagram of Hydra and we will see the diagram of Jellyfish. Okay, so let's concentrate first of all on the Hydra. See, Hydra is having two layers, two tissue layers are there. The outer one, you could call it as epidermis. And the inner one, you could call it as gastrodermis. The outer one, you could call it as what? Gastrodermis. In between these two layers, that is epidermis and the gastrodermis, you are able to see the gel-like undifferentiated mass known as mesoglia. See the diagram? Here, exactly in the center of the body of hydra, you will be getting one cavity. This cavity is known as cylinteron. Or you could call this cavity as gastrovascular cavity also. You could call this cavity as gastrovascular cavity. This cavity will be helping for the process of digestion also. Okay. So come to the point. Whatever this hydra is there. See its body. Here you will be getting one elevated portion known as hypostome. Over the hypostome there is a mouth. Around the mouth. You are able to see number of tentacles which are bearing neuroblast cells over them. See the diagram of hydra and the jellyfish. You are able to understand very clearly that all the nidarians are not looking same. Nidarians are available in two different body forms. One, first body form you could say that is polypoid body form. The first body form you could say that is polypoid body form which is cylindrical. See the hydra's body. So cylindrical hydra's body or sea animals you could say. So what the hydra is there, it is a polypoid body form. It is sessile and cylindrical. Its mouth is directed upwards and around the mouth you will be getting the tentacles. Sea animal is one more example for this. Medusa is the second body form you could say. Medusa is a body form in the Nidarians in which you will be getting the shape like umbrella the shape of the medusoid form will be like umbrella and they are freely swimming they are freely motile the example whatever is available for us is the jellyfish or you could call it as aurelia as i told two body forms are there 
Now, for example, sea anemone is polypoid in shape and medusa, is, medusa form, jellyfish is umbrella, umbrella shape the structure. They never change their body forms in their life. But there is one example, there is one nidarian who changes its body form throughout its life alternately. So that nidarian example is obelia. Please remember obelia perfectly because obelia is the nidarian which is showing a special feature known as metagenesis. And what is metagenesis? Metagenesis is nothing but alternation of the generation. Alternately, obelia changes its body form. Sometimes it will be if it is there in the polypoid form. This polypoid obelia will undergo a sexual reproduction. Please remember. Polypoid form of obelia undergo asexual reproduction to give rise to medusoid form of obelia and medusoid form of obelia undergo sexual reproduction to form again polypoid form of obelia. So throughout life after the each type of reproduction it will be changing its body form. So whatever this changing of its body form is there alternately after the reproduction you could call it as metagenesis shown by obelia. Okay now coming to the next things like how the systems work here actually it is having tissue level of organization there is no any system but physiological functions will be occurring. So let's see here. How the digestion occurs, whether any digestive system is there? Truly speaking, no. But as we know, here in this diagram, I have shown hypostome is an elevated structure which bears mouth. So through this mouth, what are tentacles are there? They will be helping to collect the food material by the help of needoblast and food particles will be passing via mouth into this gastrovascular cavity, you could say. So whatever and after the digestion, whatever waste material will be there, it will be going out from the same opening. So you could say it is an incomplete gut or incomplete digestive system is there. The digestion process, both extracellular and intracellular. Once food comes here, extracellular digestion occurs in this cavity known as gastrovascular cavity. And then you could say whatever cells of gastrodermis are there in that intracellular digestion also takes place. There is no any specialized circulatory and respiratory system present. So finally we could go for the last process that is reproduction. Both the sexual, uh, both the unisexual and bisexual forms are available here in case of this nidarians. So the fertilization will be external in the water and development is indirect. Finally we will check the examples. Total 7 examples are given in your NCRT book. So, Nidaria, how many alphabets are there? 7 and 7 examples are also there. Easy to remember. So, see, I have kept a star mark in some places. So, what is that? Those you have to remember specially. So, what are those examples? See, first one, Hydra. This is the only, uh, you could say, fresh water Nidaria. Left over all Nidarians are staying in marine water. Then next is a jellyfish, Aurelia, which is medusoid uh, form of this nidaria. Obelia, you know, Obelia is the nidaria which is showing metagenesis. So please remember this special example. Then Physeria is also known as Portuguese man of war because it is having its colony with number of tentacles inside it. Okay, next to three examples we will be getting very funny examples are there in which pen is there, pen is there. Fan is there. Okay, so what are these examples? Very easy to remember. Pennatula and Gorgonia. Pennatula, you could call it a sea pen. Do you know why it is known as sea pen? Because if you see this particular animal, you will understand it look like the pen which we used to, when people used to uh, write by that uh, feather like structure, feather like pen. It look like that. So the name is given as sea pen. Pennatula, very easily you could remember. Gorgonia, also known as sea fan. Fan will be always going on. So go, go, fan. You could remember in that way. Gorgonia, sea fan. And actually it looks like the Chinese fan. So the name is given in that way. And the last one, again I kept here a star mark. That is meandrina. Whatever this meandrina is there. It is also known as brain coral. Because this is one special example in the nidaria. Which is having exoskeleton made up of calcium carbonate around it. So you could call it as a coral forming nidarian also. So here we have done with the major points of the nidaria along with all its examples. 
So I hope what your my today's video is also there, which is very short and sweet. You liked it. Thank you. Go. Students, don't forget to subscribe, share and like my videos. Thank you very much for watching my videos.